What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a more in-depth review of this Ruger AR-15 chambered in 5.56. So let's get right into it. So as you may or may not know, I've already covered this AR-15 on my channel previously back in I guess a few months ago and I really did a basic overview of the rifle I shot it a little bit um, I did some iron sight testing with it but I didn't really go into very good detail with the rifle um, and I don't think I really did it justice so in this review or the guess this updated review I'm going to shoot it more go over it a little bit better and um, hopefully do the rifle a little bit more justice okay so um, let's get into it First of all, I'd like to point out that this is a Ruger AR-15. Um, it has a 16-inch barrel with a standard A2 flash, flash hider, fixed front iron sight, and uh, it comes with a back, back. Uh, it's like plastic sight, but it, it, I don't really like it that well, and it didn't perform very well for me in my testing. So uh, I removed it and I replaced it with a Nikon Bugmaster 4 to 12. Okay, so working our way back from the uh, fixed front iron sight we get the uh, grip and this well I guess grip we get the handguard and this handguard is very standard AR-15 handguard it's heat shielded and you can take this off by unscrewing the well I won't say the barrel nut but the delta ring and it just pops off and um, this is a little bit different than uh, your standard AR-15 delta ring where you push down and uh, it detaches on either side. And I kind of like this one a little bit better. It's easier to work with and uh, easier to handle. Alright, so working our way back from the handguard, we have our bolt. And uh, it's a standard AR-15 bolt. It's not nickel boron or anything crazy like that, but it's a very good bolt. And I had no reliability problems with it when I was running this rifle. I did a lot of quick shots and uh, a lot of a lot of repetitive shooting and I had no reliability problems. I didn't have a jam or anything. And I was very pleased with that. For a kind of semi-budget AR-15, which this gun runs around 600 bucks, 500, 600 bucks, uh, I think it's a really nice rifle. And um, so it gets about two and a half to three MOA is what it was performing for me. And that was with some uh, basic ammunition. I was running the Frontier, the Hornady Frontier which is not very expensive high-end ammo, but it's something pretty common. So, I mean, that's a lot to be said for this rifle. So, let's go take it to the field where I sight it in. I sight it in at 25 yards, and I know the optimal sight in distance is 50. Um, but I was running quick and just sighted it in at 25 yards and put it an inch and a half, two inches low at 25, and was able to connect pretty well with further distances. So, I'm going to switch it to where I was in the field, you can see some shooting, and um, let me know what you think. Alright guys, so we are here at 100 yards with the Ruger 5.56, um, and there is an 8 inch gong down there, uh, I'll show you guys on the GoPro right now, but um, the 8 inch gong down there, and we're going to try to ring the gong, and if we can ring the gong, it's good for me, and then we're going back at 300. Did I miss the gong, Connor? Thanks. So. I aimed. I was aiming high. All right. So could pretty easily hit the gong from here. Let me give it another one just to send her home. Yep. So we can pretty easily hit the gong here. So now we're going back it up to 300 yards. We're going to try to hit the gong from 300 yards. Which should be no problem. So let's go give her a go. Alright. So we're here at 300 yards. Like I said before, that 8 inch gong down there. We're going to try to ring it a few times. So we're back from the field and um, as you saw we were able to connect on a 300 yard shot with some pretty inexpensive ammo. I was shooting Wolf and a Hornady 
I was mixing in between both of those um, fairly inexpensive rounds. The Wolf is a lot more cheap than the um, Hornady Frontier, but both not high, high quality bullets. And I was able to connect it 300 yards on an 8 inch gong, which is pretty impressive for the rifle, especially since it doesn't have a very nice trigger or a hand guard or really a lot of bells and whistles, but it is a very nice rifle for what it is and I'm very pleased with it and I think you could not go wrong with this AR-15. So, that being said guys, I think that about does it for the video and I hope you enjoyed and I hope this video did a little bit better justice to the Ruger AR-15 chambered in 5.56. Please go check out my other AR-15 videos. I have one on a Anderson, a PS, several PSAs I believe. Diamondback, a bunch of other ones, and I really like doing these AR-15 review videos. Um, I know I'm not the most technical person that does review videos, but I'm your average Joe, and I try to do the best I can. So, with that being said, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Please go hit that subscribe button, and um, come back for more. Alright, so that about does it. I'll see y'all next time, and remember, take someone outdoors.